Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to historic Fenway Park for Wrestling All-Stars in New England, brought to you by Bell Time Club and Dante Luna. My name is Drew Kazoo. I'm joined at this time by Joey Business and the one and only... The benevolent, intelligent, extravagant, and eloquent Donnie Wonderful, a.k.a. Tall Ondor. It's main event time, folks. This one's going to be a treat. We've got Toto Loco taking on one of the most feared men in the David professional realm. David and Goliath battle a true david and goliath battle as toto loco takes on warbeard hansen this is going to be a treat what's up mr business how are you today oh, i'm fantastic i just can't wait to see this like he said david and goliath the strong will survive we've got to see this the last i'm going to tell you right now the last person that i'd want to bump into in a dark alley might be warbeard hansen would you just look at this man this guy is a mammoth of course He's huge one half of world-renowned tag team, War Machine, as we see Toto Loco now making his way ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most electrifying, one of the most impressive, one of the mo biggest fan favorites here. Colorful. All that too, Mr. Business. I'm glad you're paying attention. Toto Loco. A good throwback to the luchador style. This is going to be a great main event. Now, I just got one question. He says he's hailing from Tokyo. Mexico. Does anybody have an explanation for me, or should we? I found that on the map yet. Well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop looking here because we've got a match underway. We've got the, we're waiting for the bell here. Toto Loco, Warbeard Hanson. This one's gonna be a doozy. As Classic big guy versus little guy. You always root for the little guy because they're the underdog. But I can tell you right I'm now, just looking the at these guy. two guys lined up. It's going to look tough for him. Well, I got to tell you, this is what I love most about professional wrestling is matchups, the chemistry. I like to see the two different styles clashing in the middle of the ring and see what comes out of it. We couldn't get any a bigger contrast of styles than we do right now. We've got the, uh, the unorthodox, high-flying, martial arts, hard-hitting style of Toto Loco against the pure, brutal aggression and size here of uh, Warbeard Hansen. I must say, I hate to discriminate, but the Vegas odds are definitely against Toto Loco. Well, you know what? Some may say so, just because of the, uh, the pure size and strength, but we've seen Toto Loco come out victorious and come through some grueling battles. Yes, we have. Man can take a lot of punishment. He can dish it out, too, as we see both men fighting for support of the crowd here, playing mind games with each other, trying to get the crowd on their side, letting them know who's boss. But you never want to turn your back against your opponent. That was a great opportunity for Toto Loco to attack, sneak him up by surprise that he let go of. Well, this is the contest. It's a big fight feel here. Both of these men signed the contract. They both want to win. They both got something to prove. I don't think they're out for any cheap shots. I think they want to walk away with a clean W. Drew Absolutely. Drew Kazoo, there's a method of winning in this industry called by any means necessary. You take that opportunity, you use it, you walk out a winner. Mr. Business, I got to ask you, what's the key to victory here for, uh, for Toto Loco being at the size disadvantage? Well, since he's at the size disadvantage, the only thing he can hope to do, in my view, is survive and capitalize on some type of humongous mistake because just everything's against him. You're absolutely right. You're not going to overpower the much larger guy, but you are quicker and you can use that to your advantage. You can slip into spaces that he can't fill and you can use that potentially beat him and outsmart him. As his made evident right there, we saw that manifest right before our eyes now. Total Loco There's sizing Wally, him up. Drew Kazoo. Oh my goodness, it is Wally. Wally. Whoa. Oh my wow. God. Total Loco wow. risking life and limb. Going straight over the top with that somersault senton almost into the front row here at Fenway Park, almost out at the center field. My goodness, much to the pleasure of the Fenway faithful here. Toto Loco now. Sizing him up for a beautiful kick. On the offensive here. That may be the most effective way to hit him is when you do striking attacks like that, even though they may be light against a big man like that, they do damage over time. Oh, oh my God, like a lawn dart. A right face full of pole. Ugh, that was, that's pretty. I, I, actually, folks, I would re referee should go over and take a look now at, at the forehead of Toto Loco and see if we've got any blood because he hit awfully hard on that steel post outside. Unbelievable. As we see now, Hansen showing no quarter now. Vicious forearm smash. Toto Loco now definitely, definitely. I tell you, Jack Hill definitely has his hands full to try to referee this one and make sure that both men can at least go home to dinner tonight. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, Warbeard hits. Oh, my goodness. Warbeard Hanson looks like he could eat Toto Loco for dinner himself. And he may do just that before this contest is over now as he makes his way back into the ring. You know, for a big guy, he's awfully agile. 
Very Pine athletic. Tree. Very, very athletic for a big man here. As we see now, Warbeard Hanson now. Oh, are we going to see a beard wash? Oh, this is... Oh. Oh. That it, is amazing. Oh. Now, Drew. That's disgusting. I know you're from around here. It's Tokyo, Mexico next to Harvard, Cambridge. D you're going to need to give me a minute to, to Google Earth that if, if I have it. I'm going to have to find I'm not sure where Tokyo, Mexico is, but uh, if you give me... If you, hey, there's Wally again. He's really one of the Fenway faithful and loves taking in this wrestling action. <laughs> You can tell by the conviction of Wally's face as he watches his suplex with authority. Goodness gracious, that should be enough. Took one, the win right out two, of him. Two count. Only two. Only two. Folks, definitely a feeling. Guys, feeling the history in the air, man. I got to tell you, I love being here at Fenway Park. I love the atmosphere. I love taking in the whole, just, just the feel here. It's a bit usually it's for a baseball game. But we're not here for baseball, guys. We're here for pro wrestling. Absolutely. There's no do-overs, no strikeouts. One hit, you're gone. It's over. That's right. And as we see on the outside of the ring, they have the sign telling us where fans with bags need to go. And Toto Loco letting us know where that fist needs to go. Straight to the solar plexus of Warbeard Hansen. Huge boot to the chest. Look at Toto Loco now. Oh! And just like that. It's like chopping down a tree. Otolo Loco's doing his best with, with all his striking. Go for the pin now. Time. Oh, oh just rubbing that form right in his face. You got to wonder, when is this? We're looking for that that mistake that, that Mr. Business was alluding to. Oh, and look at this. It's tearing away at the going? mask. Where is Joe Business going? Joey Business, I, they're not selling beers anymore. I think they sh Joey Business, come back here. He's on his way for to get a Fenway Frank. Joey Business, leave Tequila Rose alone. Let's. All right, well. We're going to carry on here, folks, as Warbeard Hanson now. The show must go on. Have Unbelievable happenings here at Fenway Park, folks, as we see Warbeard Hanson now getting ready for what may be another suplex. Oh, small package. One, two. I would have to say that's a package. That's a big package. Very. Where's Joey Business when you need him? And there's a center flip. One, two, only. As Warbeard Hanson now, huge boot. boot. That could be it, folks, but he's this going up the road. Right here. Oh, old school style splash. One, two. two. Oh, only a count of two. Goodness gracious, with the resilience to kick out of that, he's given up at least 150 pounds. We told you, Toto Loco has been through wars here in the world of New England wrestling. He's been through some of the worst battles. He's been in bloody battles. He's been broken through tables. He's been smashed. He's hit with chairs. He's been flown from heights, the highest heights, and come through victorious in the end. So we know that this man can definitely, definitely take punishment. And he is definitely taking punishment now at the hands of Warbeard Hanson. Oh, nobody home there. The wherewithal to move. Here we go. He has, he has to capitalize on this. Off Total the loco now. Look at this. Going for that spinning. Oh, and he caught him with the DDT. If he can cover him, he can end this. Doesn't quite have it in him now to go for the cover. He's got to gather himself. He needs the help of Fenway Faithful. They need to lift his spirit so he can regain his control and win this match. Both men now digging deep, trying to make their way to their feet so they can leave historic Fenway Park now with the victory. Uh -oh. Tono Loco, a lot of steam behind that elbow smash. And there we go. Red scissors. Hurricane Rana there. Well, back from his bathroom break. Here comes Joe Business. Spinning heel kick. Oh, and the kip up. I had the only kind of explosive diarrhea you could have at a place like Fenway Park. Let me tell you, it hit is hard. But I hope the people in the ring hit harder. Well, I hope that you feel better because I'll tell you right now, somebody who's not feeling great is Warbeard Hansen. Actually, maybe I spoke too soon. Big boot to the face. No, what's not feeling great was I couldn't let you two clowns close the show without me. <laughs> Oh, oh huge springboard into Joey Gary business. now. Did it soak into your socks? What is that smell? Oh, brutal. That smell is excellence, gentlemen, and the smell that you feel. Oh, top rope Frankensteiner. Folks, if he goes to the pit for the pin, that could be it. Toto Loco now. One, two. Oh, a two count. Only a two. Which only means the votes you have is two, and they don't count. Here we go now, Toto Loco getting the Fenway faithful into this. He's feeling it. 
He's pumped up. My goodness, that top rope moonsault was incredible. It here sure was because no one's talking about it. But let's <laughs> get back to it. Okay, here he goes. Warbeard throwing him over the shoulder. Reversal by Total Loco. And oh, my goodness. Look at the big man. What a cartwheel and a lariat. Somebody. That should do it. Two. Two no, only. No, no, no. I was going to say, somebody, somebody go pick up Total Loco's head because that thing just got shot all the way over to the kid zone. Two. But a count of two only. Like. <laughs> Warbeard hits and now. Definitely fr the frustration is setting in. It smells like the city of Lynn over here. Hey, now. Listen. <laughs> Total Loco now. Definitely, definitely. Maybe wishing that he was in the locker room. Maybe he was wishing on the outside of the ring to recuperate because he is on the receiving end of some clubbing, clubbing blows there by Warbeard Hanson. A lot of mustard behind those shots. Absolutely. A lot of mustard, but I want a Fenway Frank, so come on, folks. <laughs> Lord knows, Joe Business does not deserve to eat anything else. We don't want it coming out of <laughs> any other holes. Look at this, Warbeard Hanson out to the second rope. Oh! This is a big just man like make, taking humor. a big risk. Go Total for the Loco cover now, Total Loco. Not go. Was that a mistake? Not going for the cover, Mr. Business. It was totally a mistake. Coming back to this booth, <laughs> I had what's better in the other room. Uh -oh. Springboard moonsault. Nobody home. Warbeard Hanson now setting him up. He's going back up top. What's this? Is Warbeard Hanson now? We, we know the big salt? man's not afraid to fly. Are we going to see a moonsault? Look at the crowd here. They can't believe what they're witnessing. Comes a meteor shower. Oh, oh, my goodness. But wow. to no avail, Toto Loco moving out of the way. The crowd here cannot believe what they've just seen. Toto Loco now making his way to his feet. He's on the top rope. What are we going to see here, folks? Oh, huge splash. One, One, two, two three. three. And that's it. Toto Loco victorious with the big top rope splash. David slew Goliath. What a contest here, folks. My goodness, Toto Loco showing guts and determination as he comes out victorious here with a victory over Warbeard Hansen. My goodness. It makes for quite a hell of a story, let me tell you, as the thousands in attendance look on and try to see. Folks, I got to tell you, that, that was probably, if not one of the toughest contests thus far for Toto Loco as he comes out with the victory. A perfect underdog story. The smaller guy wins, as you mentioned before, Joey Business. David slays Goliath. And you gotta wonder what's going through the mind now, Warbeard Hansen, as he comes into historic Fenway Park and leaves on the losing end of a contest with the New England favorite, Toto Loco. Now, oh, look at this, he's in his face. Nose what's this? Nose. We gonna see, is this a sign of bad, what's, that, what's gonna happen? Oh, he extend. look at this, folks. Hey. Extends the hand of of respect to Toto Loco, telling him, excellent match, young man. He's and earned that, it. That is He's about the it. highest sign of respect that you could imagine there, folks. Thanks for watching. Wrestling All-Stars in New England. I'm Drew Kazoo for Joey Business and Donnie Wonderful. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.